Action Aid Nigeria has honored five climate change advocates who work over the years whose works over the years have impacted positively on communities and the lives of women and girls who struggle to make ends meet. The ceremony was held in Abuja at the National Roundtable on the theme, Loss and Damage Impact on Women in Fragile and Conflict-Affected States. In this, in this opening remark, Action Aid Nigeria's country director, Andrew Mamedu, reminded guests on the impact of climate change on women and girl child who unfortunately form the most vulnerable groups in the society. Mamedou says the extent of the award of recognition that Action Aid Nigeria is embarking on marks a critical journey to elevate the voices and contributions of women in climate action, particularly in fragile and conflict-affected areas. He says the Champions Award is not just a recognition for the awardees, but a celebration of the remarkable contributions by, made by women individuals and organizations in the realm of climate action. The Women Climate Change Award is not just a recognition, but a celebration of remarkable contributions made by women, individuals, men, and organizations in the realm of climate action. Through this annual award, we aim to honor those who have made substantial strides in addressing climate-related challenges, advocating for gender equality, and building resilience in their communities. The theme of this inaugural um, um, symposium, Loss and Damage Impact on Women in Fragile and uh, Conflict-Affected States, reflects the pressing need to address the intersection of gender and climate change. In his research on the climate change as it impacts on women and girls, David Haber, a manager with ActionAid, observed that many Many of the victims are clamoring for peace as against the provision of food, shelter, or provisions that can ameliorate their sufferings. The people say we want peace. It's not give, you would have said, oh, people who are hungry say, give us food first. People know that the solution to this challenge is what? Conflict resolution and peace building. This is the first step. People who are impacted, they know that the first solution is is peace. I'm wondering why many, why maybe the government does not know, or practitioners like myself, we claim we don't know. This is the solution. We need peace. We need to resolve ongoing conflicts. We cannot keep throwing solutions to of giving food. Doing it. no, we need. The highlights of the event was the tale of woes and sufferings experienced by victims, particularly the experience of Mimi Kivi, a resident of Guma in Benue State who lost everything, including losing her 14-year-old daughter to rape. When we had this gunshot, when this week came, I was raped. And my only daughter was raped. She's 12 years old. She died instantly. And my husband was butchered. And he scattered everything. And they broke this my heart here. So I never knew what happened later. I just found myself in where I was rushed to for treat. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.